Hi there. Okay, so I have a couple of students who have had uh, problems welding verts inside inside 3D Studio Max. Now, there's a few things you have to consider when welding verts inside 3D Studio. I thought I would create this video just to show you uh, some of the problems and how to weld verts inside uh, Max pretty quickly, easily, and without problem. Uh, and I'm going to expose a couple of problems um, also so you can see what not to do. Um, so I've got two cubes here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld these two objects together to create one object. Um, so the first thing you need to think about is that uh, you cannot weld two separate objects. There's no way I can weld this object to that object just like that. So if I try and weld this vert to this object, if I use like target weld, for example, it won't, it won't recognize that there's a vert there. So what we need to do is attach these two objects together. And to do that, we just use the attach feature here and click on the object you want to attach to the selected object. And now we have one object um, selected here. So if I now try and move that object, you'll see that it's one complete object. Although Max still thinks they're two separate elements. So if I click on that and click on the element button over here, I can select the individual elements and still move them around separately. If I, if I deselect the element, I can move it around as a singular object. And you can see in my list over here, I just have one box, not two. Okay, so now I want to weld these verts to, to get past the fact that um, Max considers these separate elements, because you can see that's an, an element selection there. Um, you need to weld them together. You need to join them. You may not always want to weld them. You may want to keep them uh, separate elements. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to show you how to weld them together to create one object instead of multiple elements within one object. Um, so we select, go to vert mode here and we select a vert. Okay, if we pull that away, you can see that it's still separate from that vertex there. So if I use target weld here, now it's still doesn't let me weld it. If I undo that and move it back into position, if I select them like this, I could use my weld uh, function here, go to weld settings, and you know it's on 10, that's well within range. Um, even if I crank that right up and do a tick, I select one of the verts, it's still not welded. And the reason for that is because I have adjacent faces on the inside. If I go to wireframe, you can see that inside here, let me just undo that, there you go. Inside here, I have two faces that are facing each other, and that's bad. Max doesn't let you weld objects under those conditions, so you have to remove them. So select them, press delete, Select the other one, press delete. Okay, now they're gone. Now we should be able to weld the verts. So if I select that, if I move it away, you can see they're still separated. Now if I use target weld, select that, drag it over, it recognizes, you can see my cursor changing there, it recognizes that there's a vert there that it can weld to. So if I do that and let go, boom, it's welded. Now that, turn off target that now is one vert there you go so if I move that around there's no other vert underneath it now, for the other ones I can just simply select them all select select and select and I can use my weld settings here I don't need it to be that big one centimeter should be perfectly adequate uh, that's the range uh, within which the verts will weld and I could probably go to 0.5 and it would still be enough and you can see 
the before and after vertices, before the world and after the world uh, within this object. So if I press the tick button, I should now have welded all those verts. If I move them around, you can see they're now all welded together. Go back to default shading. There we go. So now, if I go to my element, it's one big object and not two separate ones. So that is how you weld verts. So basically, you cannot weld vertices on two separate objects, and you cannot weld vertices when you have adjacent faces next to each other. Um, they have to be. It has to be clean geometry and a clean weld, and that is how you weld. In 3D Studio Max. I hope that helps you. I'll see you next time.